we can't spell success without you. Pal Plan Project presents Time to be honest. Product reviews. Make it wise. My honest and brutal review of these products. Well, hello there and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today something different. As we do, bought something off eBay and somebody had a little boat drink there and he said, £80 off wine. Well, I like my wine, so why not? So what I did was go onto the website and you get this 12 bottle case of mixed wines. It was about 124 quid, but you get a voucher. With this voucher you save £80, so you get, in effect, lots of wine for about £4 a bottle. So I thought, right, so I went on there and it's called Naked Wines. Went in, put in your credit card details and say, hey, please send. Please send. And bank on time, box turned up. And as we can see, it's quite a big box. It's full and full of nothing but wine. And they're all 750 mil bottles. Lovely. So it took a while to get through these. So what I thought I'd do is share the experience. Are these wines any good? Or are these wines? Bleh. Now, if you have a wine, I'll probably spend about £6. You know, it's just your general. That's how I drink at night. It's nothing special. So, if you went for the brute price of each of these bottles, you're probably looking between eight and ten pounds a bottle. But they do say that you know they're specially grown, they're nurtured, they're looked after. And I did once out of a bottle which was about forty-four quid. And um, what I did was get it in the sale for twelve pound, and it was Evan. It was an Evan of a wine, so it'll probably get a couple of that standard. Equally, white wine. So we've got. It's red, white, with the white ones, I'm not looking forward to it because simpler white wine tends to give me heartburn. Things like Lambrini I can't touch at all, just an absolute nightmare. However, other wines you can drink, but after two glasses, heartburn, just not a nice experience. So hopefully we're over in sunny Wigan, as you probably saw, so I look a little bit flush because it's really warm here. But we'll give these wines a go. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. So we have the first bottle of wine here. I'm not going to pronounce it. Uh, it's a Shiraz. It looks very nice. We might get the voiceovers to pronounce these, these, these names of these wines. Arabella 2019. So it does look very nice. The only thing that put me off is a standard bottle opening. Twist off cap. That immediately says to me that it's not special. However, it could be. So let's crack it open. Have a little taste. So here we go. The very first bottle of vino. Now we've already seen what it looks like. Screw on cap. That's the first thing what put me off. But it's a Siraz. You know, do you expect a lot from a Siraz? I don't know. However, here it is. It looks like a Siraz. Tastes like a Siraz. It is a Shiraz. Uh, if I was buying it in the supermarket, you'd probably be looking five pound a bottle. There's nothing to write on. Uh, the only thing I could say is, you know, being in from Wigan, we wouldn't go for a glass like that. We'd chuck it into a big one. Fill it up. And in traditional style, we're now ready for a decent movie on tele. Not getting up and down, keep filling glass up. So where's the spare? We've got the Shiraz, we've got the programs on. It's a night in wine, it's okay, it's nothing special. It's good, maybe £6 in the supermarket. Yeah, alright. See what tomorrow brings for the next bottle. Right, so after the Shiraz, which was, it was fine. You know, I won't go mad for it, but it was okay. Right, day two. What wine are we going to select today? Well, I think... Let's try this one. The reason why I've gone for this is because it's traditional. Drop the top. Christian Patat, Monte Polciano, DOC 2017.
Well, they've done a good job on that. <laughs> That's quite bitter. They say it's all in the pork. Only a bit more time on this one. And they'll go wine number two. No, it's very bitter. That's nice. Nice and nice fruity. Quite a nice taste. Quite a nice taste. Very fruity. Light bitter aftertaste. Once again, not vinegar. It's no vinegar aftertaste, which means that it is a quality wine, which is good. But, uh, ooh, a bit like a hint of chili afterwards. This is, uh, this is the better wine. This is much better. I mean, I like bitter things. And it kind of itch has been really, really bitter. The aroma is very smoky. It's very nice. Yep, not bad. Quite a nice taste to it. I'll put this on. Love that chilli. Like a little slight chilli, gingery type aftertaste. I love that. So I would say with this one, we're probably looking, I'd we'll probably go for about £11 a bottle on this one. It's quite nice, there's no vinegar after taste, it's uh, very nice and the flavours do linger. When you get a cheap bottle of wine and just drink it, you can have that vinegar after taste. It isn't pleasant, but also, once you've tasted it, it's a bit like, it's gone. Where with this, it actually tastes, the taste is still lingering. And it'll probably linger for a while. Well, that's that one. So we'll have wine number three tomorrow. Uh, just looking at the pink. that we've got two red left. And four white. Mm. Here tomorrow. So here we are. We are once again back in the office. Love the office. And uh, now it's day, I don't know, three, four, probably three. Who knows? But it's time for some vine. What are we going to have today? Oh, today we've got Stefan or De Blanche. Something like that. No one to try to pan out any of these things. Oh, from where? There we go. This one. Stefano, Di Blasi Bianco, Trevenazzi, 2019. Another 750ml buckle. It's a white one. It's the first white one which I'm going to have a look at. And it is 750. Another litres, 12% volume. Once again, first thing to know, normal cap again. Same as the first buckle. Smells very bitter, bitterish sweet, I would say. You kind of smell it in the itcher, and it takes, smells really bitter, and then you do it again. And uh, that was quite sweet, interesting. You do get a nice little noise when you pour it out. It's very clear, you can possibly see that. And mm, it's interesting. It's now the bitter or sweet, or a bit of both. It's very interesting. It's not super fizzy. Tell you what it reminds me of. When you go out and you go somewhere special and you go in a limousine type thing, it reminds me of that, you know, the bottles of champagne that you have in the limousine. That sort of taste. 
not a supermarket. You know, this is meant to be like champagne. It tastes like the real stuff. It's it's very nice. It's a bitter sweet uh, taste when you take it. It's a nice long soothing aftertaste. More sweet the aftertaste. But it's very nice. It is very, very good. It's very nice. It'll certainly sort me out. And my 12% get up, it would anyway. Uh, how much would I pay? Well, similar wines, I would say is probably about £7 in the supermarket. The stuff that you get in Lemos is about £35. I wouldn't buy anything at £35 from a right skin flint, so that's definitely off the mark. Well, I would have to say, if I was buying that, I would go for... I think around the tempo mark. I think that's a bit low. I'd say around the tempo mark. Uh, certainly, if you've got it for a birthday or Christmas present, I don't think that you can plan. Yeah, so it's quite a nice one. So that's the next buckle. We'll try and get through a couple of white ones. However, I will let you know if I get heartburn because I am so, so traditionally get heartburn from white wine. That's more of a champagne thing, so I think I'll be okay with that. Got a couple over there, a part of my stash. I am a little bit worried about. We will see what happens. So that's that one. Roll on tomorrow for the next one. So here we are, yet another day, yet another bottle of wine. Mm. Something going on, bon, bon. French. It's a French one. It's a French one. It's another white one. Another screw top. It's the screw top top I don't like. I was always told, if you want a bottle of wine, get your carts for it. Ville Bois Loire, Sauvignon Blanc 2019, by Yoast. Mm. Very clear, looks good. The only reason why I'm hesitating on this is because every other one is kind of it you. You open, you open the bottle and it's like all fruits, all bitterness, all. And this one's really, really mutual. It's just kind of... It's... There's no real distinct smell to it. You can't judge if it's bitter, you can't judge if it's sweet. It's really, really neutral. However, I'd say I'm not keen. <laughs> it's... It's like if you love Lambrina, then this is your wine. It's very, very neutral. It's kind of got that Lambrini taste. It does have a much better aftertaste. Far better aftertaste. The only thing what comes into mind is Lambrina. Unfortunately. But it does taste nice. Now yesterday we had the other white and there was no white burn at all. It was really nice. Went down champagne, blank or whatever it was. Blank, blank, or blank or. Very, very nice. But this one. It's a uh, dinner party wine. Nah. It's just one of those, you know, put someone on telly and just let's drink it. It's, you know. 
It's the very first one where I feel disappointed. Price wise for that, I would lost one chance. If you poured that in a Lambrini bottle, apart from the aftertaste, which is nice and it lingers, there's no vinegar taste or anything, it's a nice lingering aftertaste. But if you put that in a Lambrini bottle, I don't think anybody would actually know the difference. How much is Lambrini? Four quid. If I'd have paid full price for the case, I would have been disappointed on that one. However, it was four quid on the case of the reports. I couldn't put it beyond Echo's Falls, six quid a bottle, at most six quid. That is, and don't get me wrong, I'm not a white wine drinker. And that's probably the very first proper white wine. And no, disappointed in that one. But there's a lot more to try, so what we have to do is see what tomorrow brings. Well, there we are, another day. Another, another super day. And looking at this jacket, it's a bit cooler today. <laughs> this makes you look really, really thin. Never mind, I'll have to wear this one more often. Right, I am happy to report that the white wine which I've had has not given me heartburn, which was a major worry for me. Uh, so it does show that it's very, very good quality. The Lambrini style one, which I said, didn't really appreciate that at all. But we'll have a look to see what we've got for today. And I'm going to go back to red for a little while. And this one, 170, uh, 750 milliliters, 13%. This will give me a headache in the morning. And not sure where it's from. The Bowie Red Wines 2019. But normally at the front you have where it's from. Bino Regional Lisboa. Lisboa? Who knows? Anyway, this is one that I'm going to try today. Monteria. Proper top, that's always promising wine is only wine. We have to screw the thing first. It's a go. It didn't be. No man. Oh, it's my older bouquet. That made a nice noise as it came out. As we can tell, nice. Very, very, very rich in bread. Very, very nice smell. Almost like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of wood. I can imagine in a forest, having a steak, having a bit of this, sat on some wood, some log somewhere, something like that. I don't know why, but. Ooh. No, that is a really, really nice one. That for me is definitely going to the upper, upper level of wines. It's very small here. It's not bitter. It's not sweet. It's quite medium. It's got a beautiful aftertaste. The aftertaste is quite sweet. Uh, but that is really, really nice. I would not be surprised without hesitation if that was in the supermarket for about 18 pounds. It's far better than your mile back. It's got a really, really good aftertaste. You can tell that all these wines are very, very good quality. There's not one where it tastes like vinegar or anything like that. So they are obviously very, very, very good quality wines. And for the price, not to be sniffed at. Well, there we go, so I'll enjoy that one tonight, and we'll try the next one soon. Right, so here we go, another day. This time, white again. We have this one. 
Benjamin Darnold, Viognier, 2019. Already kind of started this one. Once again, another screw top. You're all right. I do like, if you're spending a lot on wine, you'd like to think corkscrew. Maybe it's just me. Looks nice, it's clear, it's white. It's bitter fruity again, but at least it's fruity. Oh, very bitter. Fruity, very bitter. Ah. Uh, Yeah, it's nice, it's good, it's white wine. I've noticed none of these wines have actually given me heartburn, which is brilliant. That was the worst thing I was worried about, especially with white wine. But none have actually given me heartburn at all. That's been uh, rather good. What I do notice though, is that, especially if you do manage to get through a bottle, the following day you can start with an hangover. Uh, you know, not quite feel yourself, a bit of headache. Uh, something that you probably don't get from the supermarket, which is probably just the alcohol and just the way it's been made. These are really wines designed to sit down, slowly sip it with your friends over a meal, apart from that Lambrini one and the uh, Shiraz one. But, you know, generally speaking, I can see these at a table, chicken out, steak, uh, drinking them casually is probably not the best of ideas and if you drink them too much or you kind of I mean I'd say going for two bottles in one night would be probably a killer <laughs> it wouldn't do your headache any good in the morning but there we go so that's that one that's the Orinage of Orini I don't know I can't pronounce these that's how we'll probably do some voiceovers try and give them a little bit of justice at, at the very least okay up so that's that one so next one is another white one and we'll do that one soon oh forgot how much would i pay for this i would say from a supermarket it's bitter it's okay it's uh see what it reminds you of a little bit a bit like country manor sweet country manor but that's a really low price I'd say five ninety nine. Five ninety nine from the supermarket for that one. Six quid. Uh that's how much I probably like to uh, pay, uh, pay for that. Probably how much I'd like to pay for that. And it is you can see there, but it is very dry. A very dry white one. That's a light dry stuff. It's good. Next. Yes, we've had to use one of these. For this one, that's the last buckle. It's been torture doing this. Having wine, so much wine. Went for this one. Christian Patat, Pecorino, 2019. Very own a Bianco. And we had a Bianco before, which was the blue bottle. That was really nice. Uh -oh. Let's visit this one. Oh, very fruity, very, very fruity. <coughs> but an extreme bitter taste. Uh, <coughs> this is one of the reviews where it becomes difficult. I know they're not cheap bottles of wine. I know that people really, really love making these and I'm sure people love this particular bottle. But that for me, it's getting close to the vinegar taste. Uh, no, just for me, 
Tastes very, very bitter. Almost going towards your acidic vinegar type taste. It smells good. It looks good. But considering that blue bottle was a Bianco, which was beautiful, that is not for me. Not for me at all. However, tomorrow I do have the last red. I am waiting for. I am waiting for that one. Looking forward to that one, I don't know why. This one, not for me. I wouldn't actually buy it from a supermarket. I'd have bought that for £3 for me. I'd be disappointed. Not impressed with it. So, sorry if you're watching who grows it. I'm sure people love it. It is a good quality wine. Like I said, they all have been. There's been no faults. Just that for me. If I don't get out of burn off that, I'll be shocked. I will be shocked. And I'll let you know on the last bottle. But no, it's uh, not for me. Roll on for the next one. Well, here we are. And it's the final day. We had to get to the final day, I suppose. But it's the last one. Castillo Catadao, Gran Reserva, 2013. That's a law to do. Love that sound. Interestingly, with the other ones, I probably near the mic. I was miles away from the mic. You can see the little bar going dum 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 dum. Beautiful, rich red. Now that, that does smell like a quality wine. And yeah, that's nice. It's smoky. It's rich in fruit. Mm. It's a really nice aftertaste. You can kind of feel it still going down when you wet the aftertaste. So that is really, really good. So that. Tastes to me like more high end. Don't forget, if I'm having wine, I'd have red wine. White wine isn't my forte, so I probably slated the white wine <laughs> quite a lot. In fairness, though, only one bottle gave me heartburn, and that was the one which I suspected it would do. But, you know, there's all very, very nice quality wines. So going back to this one, see how delayed that, so I can have another snip. 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 Hmm, I do like that. I do do like that. I'll say this is probably going back to. I won't be disappointed if I spent about 12 quid on that one. That one is uh, really nice, probably even more. I don't know. So there you go. So there's all my estimates of the wine. What I'll do later or tomorrow. Is actually put all my estimates into a spreadsheet as I'm editing this video and then we'll have a quick look to see how much they actually are on the website. Also I did email Naked Wines to ask them what the calorie, saturated fat and carbohydrate level was in each of the wines and basically came back saying that they didn't know. So could be a good suggestion to the wine uh, people. So one good thing about Naked Wines is that they do have people that make their own wine. It's not a supermarket thing, so we do, do get to, uh, to support, if you like, lower local growers of wine. And as you can tell, it's quite strong. <laughs> it is really nice, but it's quite strong. Uh, so we know what we're all thinking. Get a case of wine. £120, you get £80 knocked off. Where's the catch? I mean, for £80 for 12 bottles of wine, you can't go wrong. Well, there isn't really one. The only thing what they're trying to do is get people that want to produce their own wine very simply as a little community. So, and what they do is that they offer you to become an angel. 
Now, my understanding is for an angel, you spend £20 a month. This is kind of a commitment so they can invest that money into finding people who actually want to produce wine and encourage them to. Our equaler can help to actually uh, improve the current people that they have making wine for them. It's good. Also, you don't lose the £20. They just collect this as a fund, but when you uh, put in your purchase for wine, in effect, you've got a piggy bank there, so you can take that £20 out. So if you over 10 months have spent £200, you can have £200 worth of wine. Uh, so it could even be classed as a little savings thing for Christmas. So that's good. Plus also, I decided I would get another case. So I went on the internet and it was about £140 for this case. But you did get uh, a discount. So by having a look, what we get is sorry, a cost of wine. So this time we've got Summer Essentials, which is 15 bottles of red wine. And that comes in at £173.85. Now, because you paid your £20 in that month, they're not £43.86 off. So it comes down to £129.99, which I believe works out at about £8.60 a bottle. Which for a good quality of wine where you're supporting no supermarket but actually people that want to make this stuff. That's not a bad deal, I don't think. And then equally, what you do is that you get a free bottle anyway. And this time they're going to send this uh, Sevilla Restore Bian Blanc. Probably Bianco, I don't know. We're going to send this small bottle of wine, which is free. I did look on the website and that's worth 17 99 so if we twenty pound a month, you are getting, you know, quite a lot back. So it's quite reasonable. So, uh, so that's how it works. So to me, it's not a con. It's a really good way of getting your wine. It's a really good way of supporting the local community and wine growers probably throughout the world. Uh, what I'm going to do now, because like I said, they couldn't tell me how much the calorie count was. So I'm going to jump on the scales, have a quick look, let you know how much weight was put on during this rampage of wine, really, over about two weeks. Uh, and also we'll compare the prices of the wine to what I estimated on each bottle, which will be all good fun. So, as we can tell, the wines have gone. It's still sweltering in Bickershire, look at that. But in fairness, it has been a little while now since I reviewed those wines. The big question for me was, if you know where yourself, how much weight was different? And considering it's 12 bottles of wine, and I'm the sort of person where if you have one bottle of wine, I'll probably put on about £3. And after having all the wines, it came into a massive £2 gain. Just simply £2 after 12 bottles of wine. And that kind of got me thinking. So I did email Naked Wines to ask them, do you have the calorie information, do you have saturated fat, do you have carbohydrate information? Because not many wines do. And actually if they supplied this information, it could actually be quite a good little uh, way of selling it. But they came back just saying, look, you know, it's, it's a club. You can actually contact the wine growers themselves, maybe they know. But generally speaking, we do not put on the number of calories, saturated fat, etc. per bottle of wine. And in fairness, we do know that with the wines, the saturated fat is going to be zero. There's no much carbs in there, and no much calories there are, ideally per bottle, because they are very good wines. I did have a quick look on my fitness pal, and I came across this little beauty, which was the Merlot version of the Shiraz. And the Shiraz was fine. So this was actually the Merlot version, and that seemed to come in at 450 calories a bottle. But if all the wines are similar to that in calories, and it pretty much explains why the weight gain wasn't great, I mean, just actually gaining two pounds, that's not a great deal. So, by the by, I think that would be an excellent perk which is missing. Just have a look at all the wines there, they are beautiful wines. The white, even the white wines, I weren't keen on the white wines, but even the white wines came across as being very nice, very beautiful. Apart from the only one what gave me heartburn. And the, even, the, even the one to me which tasted like Lambrina, you know, I've been known for drink Lambrina, Lambrina, 
I will not drink it because it gives me severe heartburn. So it's actually a nice wine if, you know, if I, if I you know, don't know. There we go. The nice wines. I won't buy it. Too much like Lambrina. So what else did we discover? Uh, going back to the website, the Angel account's quite interesting. Because not only do you put in £20 a month, which kind of they use to invest into developing these wines and supporting the wine growers. But what's really interesting is that they actually do a half of a 50% match on that donation. So for every £20 you put in, you actually get an additional £10 for being an angel. So if you look there, I've been in it now for two months and we've got 50. So well, there's quite a nice little stash there for buying more wine. Looking at the prices of the bottles, being part of the Angel Club, is that they do discount every bottle that they sell. You don't have to be part of the Angel Club and you can actually purchase the wine at the full price shown there. And finally, if you are an angel, and I think if you spend £60, well, could be £40, but maybe £60 on wine, then you will get a free bottle. And if available, you don't like the bottle that they actually plan to send you, then there is no mate, an option to change it, which is once again quite interesting and quite flexible. Finally, you do get invited to a Zoom type meeting, which I do believe you can also see it on Facebook. And this is really an opportunity to meet the wine growers, meet naked wines, have a chat to them. You can put in your questions and they do do the best to answer, which is very nice. But it's equally, you kind of get stories of where they're up to, has it been in their family for years, uh, what they're trying to develop. And one of the guys which I was watching was, you know, come across some vines which are about 150 years old. Are they still active? Can we still make wine out of this? And, you know, you could tell that without probably the angel money, it'll just be fallow ground. But, you know, he's really excited because he's now got this opportunity to actually have a look at these vines, test them, and potentially make them into wine. So, well, it is a fascinating little club. Not only like the I think it was 129 99 for the first 12 bottles. They give you a voucher for £80, pounds, so that reduces that quite significantly. A fantastic experience for the price. And with all the other perks, it was, uh, you know, it's, it is a good experience. But which one out of this selection of 12 was actually my favourite? So I nipped back up to the office and I filled a big glass with it. And the one was... Yes, it was that. And even for me, that surprised me because it's one of the white ones. I'd have bet that I'd have gone for one of the red ones. But nevertheless... That's the one, so that is really, really a cheeky glass of wine. Now, if you're part of Naked Wines, you've been watching this review, we know what you're saying, is that, uh, you know, you just, uh, you're not using the correct glass, you're probably not leaving it for an hour before you try the wines. Well, I'm probably not. Uh, but, you know, most people, especially in the area which I live, you're just going to go to the supermarket, come home, have a bottle of wine, open it, throw it into a glass, and watch TV. However, like I say, if you come back to the Zoom chat, and these guys are really serious. I put in the chat, I've got the bottles, I'm going to review them, but, you know, there's a few which I don't like. And it was like, oh, oh. And it came across as like, you're not really meant to say things like that. We want more of a positive attitude. A kind sir. Much better attitude than that. And then another person posted in a comment saying, he was kind of going on about this wine that they're trying to develop. And it said, well, how much alcohol's in there? Will that get me drunk? And immediately they kind of said, look, it's not about the alcohol content. It's about us making top superior wine. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, but we're not telling you, I think. From memory, I don't think it was that blunt, but from memory it was that sort of thing. And they're right, they're very proud of these wines. They're not doing it for just getting drunk. They're doing it because they believe it's a top quality wine. Even so, to my experience, they would say what you need is a proper wine glass. Is They would recommend a Salto glass. They spoke Z-A-L-T-O glass. And they had a quick look at these. And I think somebody actually responded on the chats as well during this, meet, this Zoom meeting. And you'll get six glasses for £240. And that's discounted. 
So once again, talking about actual how serious they are over these wines, and there was actually used this using this type of glass on the Zoom chat. So the idea of the Zoom chat is you'll turn up, get a glass of wine, you can be sipping yours, and everyone else's, of course, why we just talk about wines. So that was it. So I suppose the very, very final question would be, would I buy another case of wine? And the answer is, I already have. So I did after making, after actually reviewing the wines, which was a few months ago now, I had a quick look and they had a 15 buckle mixed case of wine, which was about £130. Once again, you know, if you work it out, you're paying extremely low for a really good quality wine. And it was another selection I read, and I was trying to find the one which reminded me of the £50 buckle. I'm, you know, I know it's good quality, but I'm not 100% confident I'm going to find this buckle. And that's what I was searching for. And amazingly, I found this bad boy, and oh, talk about ticking boxes. This one, for me, was the one. This is the one which I've been searching for. This is the one which I've found, and, you know... At this moment in time when I'm recording, I'm not sure how much it would be, but if that was under like 15 quid a bottle, it's an absolute bargain. If that is under 15 quid a bottle, I think I shall be ordering some after I finish this video. Because this one, this was absolutely beautiful. So just a quick look at the website and we can see that it's 7 99 if you're an angel. Even at £10 for me, this bottle is an absolute bargain. It's that good. I did say it was that good. It's even sold out. So this will be added to my next order. Obviously not the one which I'm currently planning now. Anyway, before I forget, in fairness, this is the list of wines. Now what I've done is actually estimated how much I'd want to pay for each of the bottles. So I did I do this really when they first arrived, not really appreciating they are very good quality wines. Oh, buckle one. We have Siraz. Like I said on the Vizio, Siraz says Siraz, you'd expect to pay about £6. Uh, the actual price is £7. Buckle two. I decided that that would be worth about £11. And surprisingly, £8 or £7.99. Buckle three. That would be about £10. And it's £10 if you're not an angel, but however, if you are an angel, you get it at a bargain at £7.99. Uh, the Bianco, £6 I thought would be reasonable. Thinking about it, I think it's probably more like £10, you know, in review, just thinking about it. But however, if you buy it without the angel discount, it's £12.99, but with it, £7.99. So that's quite a good bargain. Uh, the Montania. 2018 surprised me the most because I expected that would be about £18 a bottle. And even if you're not an angel, it's an amazing 99 But once again, if you are an angel, just pay £7.49. Then we go into the ones which I wasn't keen of. So the seventh bottle decided it'd be about £6. Once again, I think this is really a good reflection on the type of wine that you like. If that would have been a red wine, then to have downgraded it so much. And in fairness, these type of wines, they would be really appealing to other people. So I would say that, estimating that £6 a bottle, turns out it's £11 a bottle, or if you're an angel, then it's actually £7.99, £8. But uh, I think this just reflects taste, it's not my thing. Equally with Buckle 9, I think that was the one which gave me heartburn, so therefore I hated it, so £3, you know. Uh, I checked, even Lambrini's now about £4, so that's nowhere near ref a good reflection on the policy of the wine. However, it's good reflection on it didn't suit me at all. It's on the never to buy again list. And then finally, and interestingly, we have uh, the Night Buckle, which was dated 2013. I find this interesting because any wine dated like that you'd expect would cost a fortune. And I'd really like this wine and I thought £12 was probably an underestimate. However, you know, it'd be worth that sort of money. Looking again on the website, it was actually 9 
or 8.49. So I would say my conclusion looking at each bottle is that it is very much a bargain for the quality of wine that you're getting. But I would say, generally speaking, I have a couple on the list now which I'd never buy again, and a couple which I'd expect to pay a lot more, or I will be ordering in the future. So, that's it from me. This video has gone on for about an hour, and it's taken several months to actually record. If you do like it, then give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. If you're on Facebook, please share. There will be a voucher in the comments on YouTube and probably the equivalent on Facebook. If you click on it, you will get the discount of the £80 and it's worth trying. And at the end of the day, 12 bucks a wine for 40 quid. The, these would make fantastic Christmas presents. If you don't like wine, just click on there, buy some. Uh, for 40 quid you've got 12 bottles of wine to give away and if not just keep hold of them just keep them for christmas these are actually special i don't think when i tried them i give it the justice that they deserved they have been quite critical on this review and even i struggle to find it you know to actually uh not slag them off but you know what i mean even i struggle to to find fault so i'm an angel i'm going to enjoy the wines Please have a look at it, uh, and like I say, like, subscribe, uh, follow if you're on Facebook, no doubt this will go on Twitter at some point, and Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, I must really get my social media sorted out because I'm shocking at that. It's just having time. I know I'm rambling now, so thank you for watching, and until next time, we will see you soon. Hopefully when it's cooled down in Bickershire, I'm sweating like a pig. See you later, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, then please provide your support by liking this video and subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook then please like and share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thank you for viewing.